In this week's Pass the FE Exam video, I'm going to talk about three mistakes that most people make when taking the FE exam so that you can avoid making them. But first, let me remind you that the FE exam or Fundamentals of Engineering is the first step to getting your professional engineering license. And through the videos on this channel, including this one, you will learn not only how to properly prepare for the exam, but how to ensure that you pass the FE exam. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the FE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. So let's dive into some common mistakes that people make when taking the FE exam and how you can avoid them. Number one, do not try to answer any questions that you are unclear on during your first pass through the exam. Time is your biggest barrier to passing the FE exam. Every second counts. Therefore, when you go through your exam during the first pass, answer only the questions that you feel 100% confident about. If there's any doubt in your mind that you can answer a question correctly, skip it and come back to it on your second pass. You must get as many questions right as possible. There's no time to waste. A lot of people go through the exam one problem after the next, regardless of the difficulty level or their knowledge related to those questions. The problem with this approach is that if you spend 10 minutes on a problem and then you get it wrong, doing so may prevent you from answering other questions that you could have easily gotten right, simply because you didn't have enough time to get to them. This is a huge mistake that many people make, but you can avoid it by nailing the easy problems first and coming back to the harder ones later on. Another mistake people make is they finish early with time to spare, and so they just hand in their exams. Don't end early on either half of the exam. Go back and double or triple check your problems. Let's say you finish the first half of the exam early. Don't submit it and move on because you can't go back once you do. Go back through the problems and check your answers, especially the problems that you struggled with. You may be able to find a mistake in one or two problems when you go back over the exam. I know I did. And this could be the difference between pass and fail. Trust me, I've seen it happen to many people. Why wouldn't you use the extra time to double check your calculations, especially the ones that you were on the fence about? Lastly, while time is a factor, do not rush through the exam. By taking practice exams before exam day in a timed environment, you should get more comfortable knowing how much time you can spend on each problem so you don't rush through problems and make mistakes. Again, one mistake is all it can take to move you from pass to fail. So tackle the easy questions first all the way through. Don't submit the exam early. Use your extra time to double check your answers and don't go so fast that you're rushing through your work. The bottom line here is that your exam day approach and execution is just as important as studying the technical materials for months prior to the exam. Please treat it as such. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will talk about how you can handle your nerves during the FE exam. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. And believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. And I encourage you to please ask questions in the comments below that I'll read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE Exam.